Morning everybody, just a quick update on our news that we put out this morning. Um, really, really um, uh, been an excellent drill program, uh, exceeded our expectations. <clears throat> the last hole we drilled, at number 10, we um, were hoping to intersect the quartz veins about 100 metres below the existing Lech Freyth uh, workings, the previously, the, the, the deepest previous zone at Lech Freyth. Well actually we hit it at 122 metres. And it's still open at depth, meaning that <coughs> it could well be uh, deeper than that. So that's a really phenomenal result. What that means is that for the first time, really, now that we've finished phase one, we can model this zone, this Lech Freyth load, uh, which is a quartz vein system. And quartz veining is where all the historic production of gold at Clog Eye has taken place, has been extracted from the quartz veins. So we know we're on to a big unit here and <clears throat> we've sort of estimated a high level estimation but we've estimated something between 24 to 27,000 tons in that uh, lower load alone so that's um, looking like the bigger bigger unit uh, than the upper load the upper load sort of is a little bit more variable in terms of thicknesses but the lower load is in its in itself is 24 to 7, 27,000 tons of material that's what it looks like so that's a very big unit um, of course once you add the upper load once you add um, further drilling that we want to do deeper to see how far this zone really extends at depth then um, you know we'll be adding tons to that as we go along so really a really good um, drilling program and um, you know our model is sort of look it's holding up pretty well I'd say under uh, the scrutiny of, uh, of a drilling campaign you know it is really following the model that we have uh, developed uh, and where we think we're going to hit quartz veins we are typically hitting them in, in that you know in that zone that we expect to so really good we've got some really good uh, intercepts as well so we've got a 3.73 meter intercept in hole number 10 which is actually the widest or thickest intercept that we've had uh, throughout the whole drilling program so number 10 really was um, you know save the best till last I guess you'd say and um, the other thing that it gives us confidence of is that by proving that you know there are significant load systems at depth below the previously worked zone at Lech Freyth, gives us confidence that there probably are uh, very good prospects for finding similarly unworked systems or units of load uh, that are at depth below other previously worked zones. So that's why we're um, pretty keen to get started on phase two of our surface drilling, which will take us to deep to drill underneath the grandfather's load and the Lech Freyth load, uh, sorry, and the um, uh, 710 load. So, you know, again, we're looking for continuation of previously worked zones, in other words, previously mined zones where prior production has taken place. We're going deeper to see if those systems continue at depth. So, um, pretty exciting stuff. Um, that's what we're doing in our next phase. We're, we're very keen to get started on that, just waiting for the last permit to drop through. And also that's, that drilling program will target the 550 metre projected uh, main load extension that we found in our underground drilling last year. So lots of lots of juicy targets to uh, get our teeth into uh, very soon. But this result um, of phase one, you know, has been really good. Obviously, we wait for assay results from uh, the labs for the core, which we'll be sending off to them in due course. Um, but as I say, what we're drilling here for is structure, and we mustn't forget that. That's what we're drilling for is structure. We found all the right structures uh, that have been gold bearing in the past. So, um, you know, we're, we're really, really happy with the result and how things have gone. So that's a brief update and um, more on RNS uh, as and when we, um, we have material developments. Thanks, everyone.